I welcome you all warmly into the world of success. In today's episode, we are going to discuss a very interesting topic, which is the greatest language in the world. So recently, I was uh, traveling in a train. So a person who was sitting beside me uh, happens to be a student from an engineering college. So he was uh, sharing his experiences. Apparently, that boy was very brilliant. In fact, he has got in-depth knowledge on various aspects of life. And he was uh, sharing his uh, knowledge about uh, various interesting topics. So in fact, uh, uh, during the interaction, I observed that uh, he has got some kind of inferior opinion towards mother tongue. Not only towards mother tongue, uh, as a whole, all the local languages of our country uh, he has, uh, towards all the local languages of our country, he has got some kind of inferior opinion. And he was uh, showing great amount of uh, respect, great amount of fanfare, or a, a kind of psycho fancy he was showing uh, towards English language. So then uh, I did not debate with him because uh, uh, every single individual, for the, he forms the opinions over a period of time. We just cannot debate and we can transform the people overnight. So whether they have the correct opinion or the wrong opinion or whatever. So we cannot change it overnight through debate or through discussion. Only we can understand what made them feel that way, what made them come to that understanding. So when I started interacting with him, I understood that unfortunately, right from the childhood, he has got the teachers who uh, developed this kind of mindset in his uh, uh, thought process. So, in fact, uh, he feels that English is great and all the Indian languages are waste. Is it so? Honestly speaking, now uh, let us keep that boy's discussion aside and among ourselves, let us discuss. Do you also feel the same way? Oh, in fact, now it is high time we should uh, understand certain facts. Of course, English language is important. So I repeat, English language is important. Which is the greatest language? If someone says, hey, English is the greatest language, I do not accept. So even though I am into training, even though I train the people uh, in fluency in English, I am uh, making my livelihood, it's my bread and butter. But I do not have any psycho fancy towards English. I am very clear. So if you ask me straightforward, if you ask me point blank at any point of time, I will be very clear. I give a clear answer. My mother tongue is the greatest language. Without any hesitation, without any confusion, I have this particular opinion. I say that my mother tongue is the greatest language. What does it mean? Do I mean to say that only my mother tongue is great and rest of the languages are waste? No. For every single individual, mother tongue should be the greatest language because that is where we started. That is where our journey has started. So in this regard, one should have this clarity. In fact, first of all, what is the purpose of a language? The purpose of a language is to give a shape to your thoughts, to give a shape to your thoughts to be shared with others. So what is there in your mind? How do others know? Until and unless you put it in the words, you put it in your speech or in your writing, whatever. So with which language are you very comfortable? Naturally, in our mother tongue. So one has to feel proud, one has to feel great when it comes to his mother tongue. So the person who hates or a person who ill-treats his mother tongue, he does not have the proper personality. This is what I can say very clearly. So in fact, I too had this kind of teachers during my childhood in Christian missionary schools and all. Only thing is that uh, I never got carried away with their thought process. I'm not saying that all the teachers are that way. There are few teachers 
who have got this kind of confusion maybe the kind of books they read the kind of people they interacted that might have led them to that kind of conclusion so now let us at least let us have this clarity so for every single individual the mother tongue is the greatest language he should feel proud he should have that self esteem then only he will be in a position to learn any other languages in fact even scientists say that psychologists and scientists they say that a child should learn all the subjects till his uh, 18th year 18 years of age thank you thank you jayam so in fact my i my flow got affected so so in fact uh, the scientists and the linguists and even psychologists they clearly categorically they say that the during the evolving process of the mind to get the knowledge to get rich knowledge one should study any subject in the mother tongue only so till the mind gets fully evolved so roughly we can put it this way up to 18 years of age so a person who has his education formal education too in his mother tongue he is going to be the brightest person so in fact in this regard uh, we, we can come across so many quotations uh, rabindranath tagore who established the shanti niketan who won uh, in fact nobel prize for literature so rabindranath tagore also is of the same opinion he clearly says that a child should get educated in mother tongue even if you look at many countries even uh, many advanced countries they also give entire education even in technical education also they give the subjects in mother tongue only then why this kind of uh, importance to english so now you may be getting confused sir do you mean to say that english is not great yes english is not great english is important let us have this clarity so being great is different being important is different so mother tongue helps you to share your feelings your thoughts your ideas your emotions very clearly and easily with anyone else so mother tongue gives you clarity mother tongue gives you self esteem mother tongue gives you self confidence whereas being good at as many languages as possible is always welcome so if you want to be good at a particular language that's well and good but don't stick to that only start expanding your horizons start learning as many languages as possible so why am i saying saying all these things i observed that the brain evolvement does not happen completely because i observed many parents they uh, insist they insist the kids at the uh, so early hold at the so early uh, years of their age hey speak only english so if you don't speak english how will you learn english so at at a tender age if they insist the child in this way the child can neither learn english nor the child can get complete awareness about the mother tongue a person who is not good at mother tongue then his learning process will get slowed down so he is not an intelligent person he cannot become an intelligent person his mind has got some kind of uh, lacuna some kind of gaps will happen in the learning process so mother tongue should be perfected one should be perfect in mother tongue if not deeper grammatical rules at least one should be good at expressing his ideas freely happily comfortably and of course then the learning english is always there english is always there english will not run away anywhere in fact coming to my personal experience in fact i started my education in telugu medium the two in normal government high schools normal government schools only up to my 10th class i studied in telugu medium only even in plus 2 i got migrated to english medium but more or less all my lecturers all my friends all my uh, all the people around me they were speaking telugu only so that way more or less i can say that up to my graduation i was in telugu medium only that too i am not from a big city 
I have had my entire education in small towns like Kamalapuram in Kadapa district and Kadapa town, Kalyanadurgam, Tadipatri, Anantapuram, Karnol, Nojividu in Krishna district. So these are the kind of places uh, and of course Adoni in Karnol district. So these are all the places where I had my education. So did it affect my learning process in English? So in fact, I studied in small towns. I studied in Telugu medium. And then uh, how did I get English? This is the million dollar question for most of the people, right? So in fact, if you closely observe any person who is good at English, if you inquire him, so in fact, a person who is good at mother tongue and a person who is very good at English, both these languages, a person who has got equal grip, if you inquire him, so he says that he is from Telugu medium only. It means from his mother tongue background only. So the objective of this discussion is do not have psycho fancy towards English. And if you have this kind of psycho fancy towards English, you will never develop love towards English. Initially, you will get scared. You will get fear. So love your mother tongue. Be good at your mother tongue. Be confident, develop, get greater self-esteem and English can be learned if you are, if you have self-esteem. Yes, I am great. My mother tongue is great. My motherland is great. I am great. So if you don't have this kind of feeling, you will never learn English easily. So many schools, I observe it's a pathetic scene. Many schools, they insist their students to speak only English. How is it possible? Until and unless they get the knowledge, how can they speak English? So broken English and starting the uh, life with broken English with the bits and pieces will never make them fluent. And their learning process in mother tongue is also affected with this kind of uh, cruel insistence. I observed that there is a news in newspaper. There is a student with a, uh, how to say, it is a slate uh, tied around his neck. On the slate, it is uh, written, I am a donkey. I spoke my mother tongue today. In my class, I spoke mother tongue. I am a donkey. So, and he was made uh, to go from each class, from one class to another class. To each class, he moved and he stood on the stage and all the students laughed at him. I am a donkey. Today, I spoke in my mother tongue. Now, is this a way one should start journey towards uh, learning English? So, that's what I am saying. So, love your mother tongue. Be confident about your mother tongue. And at the same time, get 100% perfection in English. So, learn English with love. Do not learn English with a psycho fancy as if uh, it is something great, something crazy or oh, something superior. No. Nothing is superior than your mother tongue. Until and unless you have got this self-esteem and self-confidence, you cannot learn any language. So, of course, in this regard, I am going to give you so many examples. So, in our journey continues. In tomorrow's session, I am going to uh, take up an interesting topic, passive voice. So, why passive voice is important? In what way passive voice is going to uh, make you express your ideas in the angle of the object. Now, one more interesting thing I am telling. Anyhow, we have started the discussion in terms of uh, mother tongue. So tomorrow's journey, uh, you, you will understand how our mother tongue is superior. And English language has got many handicaps. It has got many handicaps and to overcome those handicaps, they develop certain rules. And towards those rules, you feel that, oh, these rules are specific, peculiar to English language. That's the reason English is great. Some English teachers say that way. So these are all fancy ideas. So anyhow, we are going to meet again tomorrow. We are going to discuss so many things. So till then. So keep watching. If you haven't watched my previous videos on YouTube, you are encouraged to watch those videos also. So I wish you all the best.